Congressman Larry Bouchon receives a first-hand look at a vital business in Sullivan County. It happened this morning in the northern part of the county. Lily Pesavento was able to meet with him. Lily, where did he go? Well, Mike, today the congressman was able to go tour the uh, warehouse of Brampton Brick over in Farmersburg. Mm -hmm. Congressman Bouchon says he makes an effort to check on the success of infrastructure in rural communities, and today he was able to see how Brampton is building up the economy in Sullivan brick by brick. There are four major brick plants in Indiana. That believe it or not, in this area of the state, the clay, if it's from the ground, uh, is very useful to create bricks. And one of those is the only Canadian brick plant in the United States, Brampton Brick. We have several products here that we make because we're the only plant here in the U.S. for Brampton, and we service the entire U.S. We have four, we work through 411 distributors that move our product for us. Located in Sullivan County, the plant employs 32 people, but the economic impact reaches further than the rural county. Well, rural Indiana, rural America is a very important part of our country, and I think a lot of times, you know, people from the coast or from big cities don't realize how important rural America is to the fabric of this country. The plant has an annual capacity for 100 million bricks a year. Your average home, 2,000 square feet, takes 14,000 bricks meaning thousands of bricks circulate throughout our community. If you can create bricks locally and use them locally, uh, that's great, right? And, and plus, uh, you know, they can also look at the buildings locally and say, hey, we want to create some bricks that are very similar to the ones that were originally used, and they can customize those and make them so that they can uh, put these buildings back together, so to speak. Congressman Bouchon was able to tour the entire facility. Employees explained the brick-making process, the importance of safety, as well as the economic benefit of serving not only Indiana, but the United States and Canada. Is this the first time he's visited this facility? I'm guessing not. No, actually, he was able to visit back in 2011 when they first began manufacturing these bricks. All right, thank you, Lily. Thank you.